In today's video, I want to share with you five key tips and tricks that you can apply while you type or while you write your project, your thesis, or any report of your choice in Microsoft Word so that you will enhance your experience and you ease the access and the process of writing in words. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Rashid and welcome back to Epic Mentorship. Remember to subscribe if you are new here. Let's get started with our tips and tricks for today. Okay, so the first tip that I have for us today is how to share your document through the email. Okay, usually whenever you want to send an email containing a Word document, you have to write the document. When you are done, you, you save it to a particular location. Then you open your email and then you go to insert or you attach this document as an attachment. And then you navigate to where you save it and then bring it in. So that's a very long process. Now, Office 365 has made it easy that you can share your document directly to your email, right? So all you need to do is to come over to file here. All right, you come straight down to insert. And you can see the option to sign up. Or you can just uh, select any of your email. Maybe this one. Uh, I can use my ETP email. And... You can share the document as a Word document or as a PDF to uh, whoever is receiving it. Okay, so let's say we share it as a Word document and it's open directly and it's attached to our email. So ready to send it to whoever we want to send. it. So it's that simple. Okay, so whenever you want to send, you can just quickly uh, use this shortcut while you're working. And once, once you're done, you just close. And you're back to your documents to continue with your work. So I think this is very useful and handy and can help researchers and professionals as well. Okay, so the next tip is how to do vertical select. Okay, usually when we used to select our text in Microsoft Word, we select it continuously like this from left to right. All right, we can select from one angle to another from the beginning to the end. Okay. Now we can we have the option to select to do vertical select by just holding the alt key. Okay, when you hold the alt key, you can select vertical, you can do vertical select. For example, you can select like this, this way. Okay, and when you select a, a particular section of the text, you are free to alter its properties. For example, you can put coloration to that, you can you can bold it. Uh, you can even italize that particular part and you can do so many things with that particular selected vertical text. Okay. So the next tip is on how to put the autocorrect. Okay. Autocorrect is just a shortcut to like quick access to your text. Uh, maybe if you have a repetitive text that you frequently use in the text that you have to keep rewriting them so to avoid that repetition you can use the autocorrect uh, shortcut so assuming this is the text that we can consistently repeatedly write or put in our text we can just select that particular text and come over here to file and move straight down to options okay so in options you come to proofing and then you come to autocorrect options here Okay, you click on it and it's going to bring you down here. So this is the text that you have just selected and you can replace it with anything. Okay, let's say we put it uh, with the dollar sign and we type DR. Okay, anytime we put in dollar sign and DR, it's going to replace it with this particular text. So we add it and then we click on OK, right? We click on OK here. So anytime, anywhere we are typing, once we type, once we uh, click on dollar, uh, dr and hit the enter is going to bring in that particular text that we have saved so no need for us to keep writing or to repeatedly keep writing the same text we can just use it or store it under this particular shortcut so anywhere you can write it is going to once you write dollar dr it's going to bring back that particular text the next tip that i have is how to convert 
numbers into text okay you can convert your numbers into text uh, without you writing it directly okay so i think this is a, a handy feature that one can learn to just use while you are on microsoft word so for example let's say we want to convert this 456 to a number okay so all you need to do is to select it and press ctrl f9 and it's going to cover it up with these two parentheses and all you need to do now is to uh, come over to the end here and put equal to and then you go to the end extreme end of the number and you put the backward slash and you put the asterisk sign and then you put card text card text okay so you right click over here and just click, click on update field so it's going to just make it to work directly it's very 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 simple okay so you don't have to uh to type it if you want it's kind of tricky but if you know how to use it it can save you a hell lot of time okay let's do again to this one so all you need to do is to type control f9 okay to have this parenthesis covered and then you put equal to at this point you come over to the end and put the backward slash and the asterisk and then you can put the card text okay and you simply right click and click on update okay you have it 48905 okay so the last tip that i have for us today is how to uh, put a password to protect our document okay while we share it with others it's very easy to password our document so that the next user the end user has to use our password to be able to access this particular document so to password a particular document all you need to do is to come over to file and come to info and then you can see protect document over here so you come to, to this drop down menu and you say encrypt with a password okay you click on it and then you put in your password okay so once you put in your password you click on enter it will prompt for you to confirm that very password that you just put okay so once you confirm it a password is required to open this document all right so once you close this and you save and then you quickly navigate to where you kept it where you saved it and try to open let's see what happens okay you double click on it and try to open it will tell you enter the password to open this file okay if you don't put the correct password you put the wrong password it's going to pop up to you that you put an, a wrong password okay it's gonna open so you have to put in the correct password so you have you can uh, click on, on it again and then you put the correct password okay once you put the correct password that particular document is going to open for you all right guys thank you so much for being with me up to this point and i do hope that you have learned something today if you do can you feel free to share with your friends and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to stay connected with this channel for more of our useful videos i'll see you in my next video bye